Hey gardeners, I am Brandon, this is April. Hi. And we are with Botanical Interests. Today we are planting garlic. All of our garlic comes with really clear written instructions, but we thought we'd show you guys just in case you're a visual learner. How should you choose garlic? Garlic falls into two main categories, hard neck and soft neck. Hard neck garlic is more closely related to wild garlics. It has more complex flavors, but it also requires a cold period for bulb production. That's known as vernalization. It also has larger cloves, a slightly shorter storage period from four to six months on average. They're easier to peel. Hardneck garlic also develops an edible flower stalk called a scape. The scape should be harvested to allow energy to go into creating a larger bulb. Southern gardeners can grow hardneck garlic as well if they put bulbs through a cold treatment before planting. We have specific instructions about that on the website. Soft neck garlic is more what you see in the grocery store. It's adapted to grow in any climate and doesn't need that cold period to bulb up. It has a milder flavor and because it has a soft neck it can be braided. It also has a longer storage period of up to nine months and has more but somewhat smaller cloves. When should garlic be planted? Garlic should be planted four to six weeks before your first hard freeze. In most places this is mid-September to mid-November but in warmer winter climates you can plant until January. April, what are your best tips for garlic planting? Garlic's a heavy feeder, and it likes good drainage, so you're going to want to amend your soil with compost and create a nice, fluffy, weed-free planting bed. Keep bulbs intact until you're ready to plant. Then break apart bulbs, leaving the protective skins on the cloves. Plant the cloves wide end down, four inches deep in your well-amended soil. Cover with soil, then water. You can mulch your planting with leaves or straw. Plan to pull away the mulch as temperatures warm up in the spring. Last but not least, don't forget to label your garlic. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out our other video to know how and when to harvest your garlic next season.